have I done my walking? So now I also do my stretches. So stretch is important for fitness. So I go like, and you hold it, hold it. This is about um, strength training. Hold it, I can hold it to 10. But that's what I do. On the other side. I'm gonna do 10 stretches for now. Don't wanna exert myself. I'm along the head, so I'm not really counting because I'm not focused on it. But you be counting like zero one, zero two, zero three, zero four, zero five, zero six, zero seven, zero eight, zero nine, zero ten. It's not a, like a one, two, three, four, five. No, that's not it. Are you trying to? Maximize your strength, your muscle potential. So you hold this so zero four, zero five, zero six, zero seven, zero eight, zero nine, zero ten, and you go outside. Zero one, zero two, zero three, zero four, zero five, zero six, zero seven. Zero eight, zero nine, zero ten, and you go again. You decide zero one, zero two, zero three, zero four, zero five, zero six, zero seven, zero eight, zero nine, zero ten. So you're gonna do ten of those, right? So when you when you start asking, why does that person have a fat body, right? I'm not saying that. I'm, extremely fabulous but the body's not too bad for my age you know when you reach 50 most people will be struggling you know and if you don't have to struggle it's a blessing not that you're boasting but you gotta put the effort in right so you keep it moving you can do jack in the boxes i didn't do enough walking so i'm making up for that right Do 20, a little bit more. Okay, so now, you know, I see when I go down, I'm actually gonna go down and touch the ground. I'm gonna hold that on 10. Continues. I'm gonna go to my right. Zero one, zero two, zero three, zero four, and you stretch as far down as you can. Zero seven, zero eight, zero nine, zero ten. Sorry, I don't have no makeup on. Must look like my mouth must be white. It must be very pale, but you can't have it all. So here we go again. Zero four. You start at one, at zero five, zero six, zero seven, zero eight, zero nine, zero ten. So I've done that. I'm not gonna go through the whole routine, just giving you an example of what I do, right? Keep it moving, because what you're gonna do is keep the heat in your body as well as you move along. When you get cold, it's harder to stretch and move, okay? When you get cold, you get tired quickly. So you keep it moving, right? As you all know, I'm challenged. <laughs> physically, I mean, health-wise right now, with it's cold, but it doesn't stop me, right? So we're gonna do like a back stretch, and what you're gonna do, let me your body, stretch as tall as you can, like the time when I took the picture with Bic and I stretched him on the video, and Marvin, my photographer was back, so I stretched him to tall, but you can get that tall if you want by just stretching, which I just done. All right, and you're gonna go back, as far back as you able to without falling backwards, I'm stretching my whole length. I can feel it in my back. And I'm also holding in my stomach muscles. Because at the same time, you're training your muscles to stay in one place and to tighten. So I'm going to hold it on 10. And of course, I've gone 10 already. So I'm just going to go like 07, 08, 09, 
Zero at ten. No. Don't overstretch yourself. Don't overcompromise yourself. If you can only go five, go five. Start slowly and build it up. It's like a love affair. If you jump in hot, hot, it peters out quickly. You just gotta go slowly. Take it slowly and learn the ropes, see what works for you. Take it from there, right? Everything else is in inconsequential, right? So, let me do some side stretches again. There's some rotations, right? So you go like, for those of you who like to whine, it's a slow whine or a slow grind, right? So you go tighten it, tighten it, tighten it in the hips, right? Go tight. Hold it back tight. Like when you used to do the dollar wine and the dollar, dollar, dollar. I never was a dollar wine person. I like it slow. So you go side to side to side to side. You can bring your whole body, but in the meantime, work on your abs. You gotta hold your abs in, right? Therefore, your cardiovascular system has to be good. That's why you walk to build up that strength in your. Cardiovascular system, I mean your heart muscles when I say cardiovascular, right? So the wine, you can go to from side to side in your slow wine, back, push your bottom back as far as you can. Those of you with cheer bottoms, well, it's gonna be a sight for guys, but I ain't got a cheer bottom, I'm fine. Right? You can do it slowly. You could do it on ten. Go back like zero one, zero two, zero three, zero four, zero five, zero six. 07, 08, 09, 010. You see where I came? You see that angle? Right? It's almost 180 degrees, right? You notice that? See? Almost 180. You see where I started like that? And we have 360 degrees all around. And now I'm like that way. You do the same thing on the other side. As I say, don't compromise your body. If you have a bad back, you can't go that far. You might only be able to go that. But that's fine, because as you do it more, you'll get better. Okay, right, so slowly, 06, 07, 08, 09, 010. That's my 180 degrees, right? There you go. Okay? In terms of the abs, right? You're going to pull your abs in. I'm going to show you something that you shouldn't do on Facebook. If I was at the beach, I would do this, right? So I'll show you my abs, right? This is my abs, right? You, got, you see my eyes? You see how you look kind of big right now? Not really. You're going to pull it in. Look. Stretch your body up. Up, up, look. Up. Stretch. Pull your body in. Hold that muscle. This muscle is so solid, right? Just hold your body in. I just do everything. Pull your body in. At first, you're going to feel breathless. As you do it more, and you could do this inside your house, but as you do it more, you find it's easier to do. You can hold it longer. That's it. Now, I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna do some abs, some sit-ups, which is like going sitting down, bring my body forward, boop, backwards, forwards, backwards while sitting it on the floor. Sometimes when I'm lazy, do it on the bed, it's easy on the bed if you're a first timer. And hey, happy Sunday!